I'm concerned about um, establishing uh, dogmas that are maybe constraining research. And therefore, it's important to know what these uh, so-called dogmas are. Mm -hmm. And uh, are there any dogmas that you find particularly challenging? No, I don't think so. And uh, of course, who defines a dogma? Is that the society itself, or is that the authorities? Is that the the, the leaders in a university? And I guess that is what we are going to discuss, since we have all these leaders amongst mm. us in the, this conference. Mm. Yeah, you're going to discuss with both researchers and leaders. And you've been both a leader and a researcher. What do you think are the uh, uh, biggest challenges for a leader in, uh, when it comes to academic freedom? Uh, that is to uh, stay within these uh, constraints or these limits that are set up by the society itself and uh, taking responsibility to support your people in your group as a leader. So that is the dilemma or the the challenge a leader will always have to face, and that is to uh, go beyond your own ideas and thoughts sometimes when your people are pursuing something that is within the, uh, the boundaries, but still maybe outside your um, views. Mm. Now, now the, the, uh, the Norwegian title uh, talks about heretics. Is it, is it uh, easier or harder being a so-called heretic uh, within academia today? That depends what you compare it to. If you go back to the Middle Ages, it was certainly very hard to be a heretic. Uh, so it, it's, it's just that the, um, call it dogmas or call it the rules or regulations are changing all the time. So, so I don't think it's, it's, it's harder now than before. It's just, it's just changing and we need to discuss where are these so-called dogmas? Are there any dogmas? Uh, should we accept that? That is what I like to hear from this discussion and this debate. Mm. Are you looking forward to it? Absolutely. <laughs> you, you, you love it, don't you? Absolutely. I look, I look forward to this. <laughs>